What? My electricity bill is $175? That's insane! Last year I purchased Tesla solar panels and it was totally worth it because my bill went from $175 to only $20. If you guys want to see if Tesla solar panels are worth it, then keep on watching. What is up guys? It's Chris with Everyday Chris and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and as always, like the video if you guys care about the power of the sun. Right now it's just me, the old ball and chain, as well as my two fur babies living in a 2600 square foot home. We use a ton of electricity because your boy eats a lot. I mean, seriously, I go to Costco every week and I spend at least $200 on food. We have two fridges, five air purifiers, and a ton of lights that we leave on 24 seven so that my dogs don't get eaten by a coyote. Not only that, we also got a Tesla, Daddy Chill, sucking up all the electricity. In the past, our electricity bill was usually around $150 to $175 every single month. We realized with all the air conditioning usage as well as charging the Tesla, we needed to do something about our electricity bill. And that's when we looked up the power of the sun. Not only that, solar can actually help increase your resale value of your home. So why not get it? I also did a quick Google search and I found out there's a federal tax credit that gives you 26% off the total of your solar system until the end of 2022. And with Biden being president, I'm sure there's gonna be more green initiatives in the future. Before we chose Tesla Solar, I did a ton of research on other solar companies. And yeah, it seems super intriguing with their special solar panels, their crazy extended warranties, and their meticulous installation. However, they wanted to charge at least $20,000 for a four kilowatt system, whereas Tesla was only charging eight. And also, it's not like Tesla solar panels are a cheap product. They do back up their solar panels with a 25 year warranty, and all of their solar products come with a 10 year warranty, which is pretty good. However, a few things have changed since I last purchased solar. For one, Tesla now bundles their solar with a power wall, which means no matter what, you have to get a power wall. It's kind of weird that they're doing that because it seems like they're trying to make more money from the customer by forcing them to get something that they don't necessarily need. This is a good and bad thing. It's a good thing because when you generate electricity from your solar panels, that electricity goes straight into the power wall. Unlike for me, it goes back to my utility provider. What that means is when you need to use electricity during high usage periods, such as four to 9 p.m., you can actually use the electricity from your power wall instead of using the electricity generated from your utility provider. You also have access to the Tesla Solar app, which gives you real-time feedback on how much electricity you generated, as well as how much electricity you're using. And if there is a power outage, you can still stay warm and cozy by using the Tesla Powerwall. The bad thing about the Tesla Powerwalls is that if you live in an area where the electricity seldom goes out, then the power wall isn't really necessary. Also, the power wall is a giant battery, so the battery does degrade over time, decreasing the performance, even though it does come with a 10-year warranty. And lastly, and the most important thing, it really juices up the cost of your Tesla solar panels by a lot. When I got solar in December of last year, it only cost me $8,000, or $6,000 after the federal tax credit. However, now with the four kilowatt system, the same one that I have, plus the power wall, it costs you $20,000, and after the federal tax credit, around $15,000. So that's a huge leap in price. Overall, you still get way more bang for your buck compared to another solar company, because it does include the power wall. But it seems like Tesla was losing a lot of money from its customers in the past, charging them almost nothing for the solar panels. Overall, it's a huge change. Now, let's get back to ordering. Ordering the Tesla solar panels is super easy. It's just like ordering a car. You put your address, you put how much your utility bill normally is, and they give you a recommendation on what system you should get. And of course, you can always customize it and choose more solar panels or less solar panels. I will say that for us, with a four kilowatt system and a 2,600 square foot home living in Southern California with plenty of sun, we still do owe money every month, about 15 to $20. And I did the calculations with the four kilowatt system that we got at that price point, we should break even in about six years. So assuming if you still wanna get a four kilowatt system with the power wall, you should break even in about 10 years. Once you figure out what you wanna do, you just have to put your credit card info in, put a $100 refundable deposit, and then that's it. After you do that, you get an email explaining the next steps, and this is where Tesla seriously 
needs to work on. Communication is horrible. You're assigned an advisor and it's basically a hit or miss. My first advisor sucked. She sucked real good. She never updated us on anything. Whenever I emailed her, she never emailed me back and communication was horrible. Our second one though was fire. She was on top of everything. Now what Tesla does is they do everything virtually. They assess your roof, I'm assuming using Google images, to determine the shape as well as the type of roof you have. You're also asked to take photos of your electrical panel as well as your roof as best you can and other stuff. After the design team reviews it and accepts or denies your request. We got a response telling us that they rejected our solar order because we had an incompatible roof type. Something called double up rounded tiles with mortar holding it together, which basically means you can't remove the tiles to install the solar. They even automatically canceled my order without even talking to me. I was super upset because I know for a fact that all my neighbors have Tesla solar and they had zero issues. So I gave them a call to let them know what the heck was going on. I told them to actually send someone to come over to my house and physically look at my tiles because I can guarantee you, you can install the solar. So they agreed. They sent a super nice guy over and he examined our roof and said you could definitely install the solar panels. He was telling me that because my home is newer, they make it look like it's an incompatible roof type to give it a more premium look. However, when you actually look closer, it is a normal roof like any other. And after all that was done, it was pretty much a waiting game with zero communication. Don't even bother checking the Tesla website for updates because I was still on home assessment when I was already done with my solar installation waiting for approval from my utility provider. I called my advisor at least once a week to see if there are any status updates or when I could schedule an installation. And finally, about two months after that, I was able to schedule an installation for my solar panels. After that, it was smooth sailing. The installation team was amazing. And I even told them how bad the customer service was on the sales aspect of it. And they said they get that issue a lot. They knew what to do and they were super nice about everything. They followed all the safety procedures. And because my home is newer, I asked them if they could run the conduit line through the inside of my home to the attic into the garage to give it a more cleaner look and they were easily able to do that. So from outside, you can't even tell I have solar. Altogether, the installation took about eight hours and they only had to turn off the power once. They also give you a Tesla gateway that you connect to your router and pretty much that connects to the inverter which shows you how much electricity you're generating from the solar panels, which is pretty cool. It breaks it down day by day on how much electricity you're generating. And you can tell it's a cloudy day because you generate less kilowatts, but if it's super sunny, you generate a lot more. When I purchased my solar panels, it comes with a solar edge inverter. Pretty much this is what converts the solar energy to the electricity. It's also where it communicates with your Tesla gateway. If you look, you can see a blue light and a green light. When the blue light is on, it means it has a signal to the Tesla access point. When you see a solid green light, that means there's enough sun to start producing energy. However, now it seems that Tesla invented and is using their own solar inverter that's compatible with the power walls. And that's actually pretty cool because it gives it a much more cleaner streamlined look. After they finished up, because it was the end of the year, Tesla told me that they wanted to get the city and the Tesla solar inspector out as soon as possible to try to get it done. When they came, they gave me photos of my installation for my HOA, as well as put a bunch of stickers on and then they were on their merry way. After that, it's just a waiting game for PTO or permission to operate with my utility provider. After about three weeks, I was approved by the city and then it took about four to six weeks to get approved by my utility provider. However, finally I got an email stating that I could turn on my system and generate electricity, baby. Even after that, it took about a week or so for Tesla to confirm everything and to exceed the electricity generated from the Tesla app. The total time from ordering solar to reaping the benefits of the sun took about three months. And for me, it was the end of the year when they were pushing out sales and trying to get as much done. And that's it. Overall, my experience was pretty positive. And five months later, I don't have any issues with the system and I'm super happy. Because I have solar and an electric vehicle, I went on a special rate where the most expensive electricity cost for me is between 4 to 9 p.m. They also changed my bill so that I don't have to pay it every month and I could pay it yearly instead. As of right now, I'm on month five of my solar and my total bill is only $215. However, it's actually a lot cheaper because they put me on that plan before I was actually generating electricity. 
So in total, in about five months of actually generating solar and using that electricity, my bill is only $71 which is redonkulous. And that for me is worth it. Thanks for watching guys. If you guys are considering solar, make sure you guys use my referral link for $100 off your next solar purchase. And I'll see you guys next week.